Hello everybody, my name is Rojo and welcome back to Underworld Ascendant. This is uh, just another uh, video of some release gameplay. Because I mentioned I wanted to get to Upper Erebus. I also um, got a, uh, a minor upgrade for my computer, a new CPU. It makes it a, a little bit better, so I'm just testing things out to see if the game runs that much better. And I'm also just trying to play the game with an Xbox controller just to see how it feels. Um... Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and grab this skill here, just like so, and uh, let's uh, move on. Go ahead and select a mission, like I said, in Upper Erebus. Um, I think I might play the, the, the game on the channel. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty confident that I want to do that, um, but I'm waiting for a couple more patches to come out. Like, for example, there are key bindings, but they don't work. <laughs> well, they, they work, but they don't save between uh between missions so uh, i think my inventory is all set to go here actually uh you can actually see here the um entire economy has changed pretty uh significantly so uh definitely something to keep in mind uh all right let's uh let's just see if we can pick a, a random mission here so stolen goods ripper palmer victim the undead let's do stolen goods uh, the Deep Elves chewed Driftleaf, calling it a whetstone for the senses. They brought precious little into exile. Outcasts, meanwhile, have raided the stash they left behind uh, by the Elves. That's an odd sentence. By the Elves. Uh, seek it in Upper Erebus. Okay. And, uh, yeah, Mark Hole's changed quite a bit. <laughs> now the portal is, like, right here, which is quite nice. Um, well, I want to say Mark Hall's changed quite a bit. I say, I say that meaning the the layout is a little, is a bit different. Um, so it's maybe slightly faster to get to certain things. So when I say I uh, upgraded my computer, I uh, yeah, I got a. Uh, I used to be using an i5 3570 for a processor. Now I have uh, an i7 3770. Um, not the K model. But my motherboard does have like an automatic overclocking uh, feature, so um, it uh, essentially allows me to overclock that without having to do anything to uh, uh, to about 4.1 gigahertz. So uh, yeah, it's it's notice give, give me some noticeable gains in some uh, CPU heavy games like Total War and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I mean the game is definitely. Sp pretty smooth. I'm hoping also that uh, the Xbox controller, you know, gets rid of the jerky mouse movement, which is something that I've been concerned about when I play first person games in general. I just prefer, you know, mouse look as does pretty much every PC gamer ever. Um, there we go. Still learning these controls a little bit. Hello, Typhon. I will set fire to this world. And when all is ash, I will come for your world. Ascendant. Well, let's see where we need to go here. Uh, we don't know. No idea. So I guess we'll just look around until we find something. Uh, also, they did take out swimming. And uh, I'm not going to complain about that whatsoever because it wasn't very good as it was. But, um, yeah, so there's no more crouching to swim while you're in water. That doesn't mean uh, you can't swim at all. Uh, what I mean is that they, I guess they took out they took out diving, I guess is what I mean to say. Um, yeah, so no more of that. I don't I really don't know where we need to go here to uh, do this mission. So we're, we're just looking for uh, the stash. We need. Oh, I see. Because it's not in any specific area. We just need to find five pieces of drift leaf. And uh, the side bounty is don't take damage in melee. We might be able to make that happen. <laughs> we'll see. All right. Let's uh, see if we can get in here real quick, maybe. Now, if take I had care. to... Your survival is not a foregone conclusion. Thanks, Kabiris. Let's try this. Um... Yeah, there we go. Drift leaf and a rune. All right. 
I've been trying to punch those open previously, and uh, it has worked before, just for some reason not um, not very well. Just trying to spare my weapons some durability damage, basically. If I could burn them open as well, I guess. Oh, there's another rune. I wasn't really expecting to find a lot of runes by doing this, but so be it. Now, I don't think that there's stuff in the um, crates, typically. I could be mistaken about that. But anecdotally, it kind of seems like there's not, so I'm going to mostly be looking for those little things to uh, to find uh, the, the items that we're looking for here. Go. Uh, do we need a glowing crystal? Yeah, I'll take a glowing crystal. Why not? All right, there's a guy right there. Let's see if I can manage some archery <laughs> with twin sticks. Hello. Got him. Not too bad. All things uh, considered here. All right, I'm not going to worry too much about reading things and doing story stuff and all that. It's not really the purpose of this uh, video. There might be some drift leaf in here. Well, maybe not. It's all... Oh, there's some right there. I, I kind of feel like I've actually almost completed this, uh, this, this little excursion here. Uh, what is this? What is that? That is an arrow that was shot at me. Uh, I think I can just move this. Yeah, a little bit, like so. We'll sneak through here. I'm not gonna mess with that thing at all. I don't think that'll be necessary. Just gonna try and get through this door. And, uh, move on here. I guess I'll put this on just so we can sort of see a little bit better <laughs> in the dark here. Okay, can't get that. I can't get through that way, so we'll go this way. This is going to look pretty familiar to uh, to many people, I imagine. Let's see if the uh, the chain grabbing is any better. Let's see, what was that? Driftleaf just popped this thing right up. Some sandals, some more uh, driftleaf there. There's a spell there that uh, I'm not going to bother casting, but... Uh, It's, uh, it's there, uh, if you want to mess around with it yourself. So let's see here. Let's maybe put you, like, right about there so I can jump on you. And then we'll jump on you. This is still pretty awkward, I would say. Can I, like, get momentum? I think I cannot. I was thinking maybe I could... Like, it'd be cool if I could swing. Well, that, that was a nice jump, though. That was... I didn't feel like I had to put a lot of effort into that. You can see the chain is still freaking out a little bit. So they gotta fix that, but... But yeah, it'd be cool if I could, like, use my movement to swing back and forth and get some momentum on the chain to, uh, like, do a cool little jump or something like that. Uh, let's see, what else? That is locked. Can't get through that. It's a metal door. Maybe there's a spell or something that could get us through there, but for now, I think we'll just have to leave that be. Here we go. Drift leaf? No. Lead coin purse. How many, uh, how many do I have? Three. Well, we're, uh, we're getting there. Are there any, there's barrels. Ah, here we go. Here's the thing. Punch? No, let's, uh. Do it this way. There we go. There's a rotworm fillet. I don't need that, really, but I guess I'll take it. And uh, I suppose I can play with that for a sec. Uh, are you friend or foe? I actually don't know. 
You're bad. You're a bad, bad lizard man. Okay. Here we go. A little bit of, a little bit of combat, no big deal. Yeah, you're stuck. Ow, my face. So yeah, glowing armor lizard men, bad, bad, bad news, apparently. We're, uh, we're who's gonna win this little fight here? We cast spells at him, but I don't have anything prepared. So. I don't mind that he's stuck there. Oh, he's running away from me, I think. <laughs> Look at your silly run animation. I guess it makes sense. All right, well. Very sorry to say this, my friend, but you are done for. Don't you keep running from me, sir. Well, that's kind of cool that they... They will, um... They will retreat if, uh, if threatened. They don't think they can win. Where the hell am I? Let's try, um... This will let me cast a uh, spell. Let's see. Here we go. If I can uh, do that and then maybe select it. Not sure. Uh, it seems like the UI doesn't really want to let me select the spells specifically, but I can just probably do it with the runes here. So, well, actually, I really have. Where's, um, I feel like I'm missing a, uh, I think that's that heal person spell. I think that's wrong. I think this is uh, the spell that I want. Let's try. Yeah. I don't have any magical training, so there's a chance that I can hurt myself when uh, when I try to cast even level one spells right now, which is why I didn't really want to even attempt it against the uh, the lizard man there. All right, I'm going to go back up uh, through this way. I know there's a bunch more chests out, out this way. Um, at least, well, I'm assuming that uh, things haven't changed that drastically from, from the beta, so. Let's take a look. I'm really hoping this footage comes out reasonably well because it looks good on, on my screen right now. It's been, been smooth. I've also, um, what I've done is I've... I've got this um, program called that's uh, like N NVIDIA Profile Inspector or something like that. What it lets me do is um, force some settings in the game. Uh, and in particular right now, I'm using it to force a, uh, a limited frame rate of about 60 or so frames per second. Uh, which seems to maybe have helped as well. Because there are times, you know, I was getting up to like you know, 100 or so frames per second. But that isn't, it's not useful. <laughs> Considering my monitor's refresh rate and the, that I'm only recording this at a max of 60 frames per second anyway. So, ooh, ow. Uh, we should probably plant this real quick. There we go. I feel like this is the kind of game that maybe I could get away with playing on, on a, uh, on a controller. Just because it doesn't... You know, it's not like Call of Duty or whatever, you know, it doesn't require a whole lot of twitch reflexes, it seems. Just takes a little getting used to the controls, is all I would say. Um, because it's not quite as natural as it would feel on, uh, on a mouse and keyboard. Hey, there's some Drift Leaf right there, I'll take that. And one more. Hey, we've done it. Drift Leaf, Drift Leaf. And, uh, whatever that is. That's a bone. Just a bone. Well, I need to get back through a portal. Let's see here. There's one actually very nearby. But first, why don't we take... You can see it's actually getting a little bit framey right here. I got the, the old FPS counter on the bottom left, which I think is going to get recorded. That's just like the standard Steam overlay. Um, count frame, frame rate counter. I've actually never messed with one of these. I just want to see what happens, honestly. And... Throw. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. What about, uh, what about an acid one? Let's try this. Let's see if I can hit that guy. Mm, no. No, I can't. Not from here. But maybe I can get him with that. Yeah, I totally got him. <laughs> nice. 
Unfortunately, we did fail the side, the side bounty. I wonder if I can set that ripper on fire. Let's come over here and open wide. Um, well. Did you die? You might be dead. He's not dead. He's not dead. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, okay. Where's my portal again? Down here somewhere? I think. Ooh! Oh god! Dude just fucking launched me. I thought the map said the portal was... There was a portal down here somewhere. I don't want to jump all the way down there if I can't... Exit the premises. There is actually uh, quite a bit of falling damage as well. So uh, all that jumping and shit I was doing during the beta, very dangerous to attempt now. Probably want to get a couple skills that allow you to take less falling damage, etc. before you uh, do anything like that. I'm going to come back this way and see if I can get into maybe... Oh, jeez. Uh, maybe get into a portal back here somewhere. Because it seems like... There's, yeah, there should be one back here as well. What is in there? Ah, spare arrow. I will take that. I did it a couple times during the beta as well. Let's see if I can demonstrate it here. If I can find something good to use it on. Um, let's see. Yeah, here we go. Let's try... Come right over here. You can actually set your arrows on fire. At least you could in the beta. I'm going to try to do that here. And... Oh, I set myself on fire. <laughs> um, no, I guess you can't anymore. Well, you could in the beta and then plug them into things, but uh, it didn't seem to make things burn very effectively. Uh, so I didn't really mess with that too much. Uh, let's take a look here. So allegedly, there is a portal here somewhere. <laughs> but where? Is it below me? It might just be back by the entrance. Because I don't see any Galdarn portals in this area, do you? <laughs> I think I better go. Um, I'm just gonna go back to the entrance. It shouldn't take that long to get there. I don't know. I don't think enemies respawn, but I guess it's possible something like that could happen. So we can go and take a uh, a quick little look here. Just see what happens, and we'll get the uh, get this guy out as well. Now, let's not die to that. I'm not going to plant the seed, I don't think. I'm not too worried about dying here unless I, like, fall off the edge or the physics goes crazy or something. All right, don't think I can get through here. Got to go around up this way. Uh, actually, if I go up here... This should work out just fine. There's a portal right there. All right, let's get out of here. Hmm. Interesting. Compendium C, my favorite. <laughs> Time crouched, 93 detections, four thrown object, no deaths, three kills. And a uh, slight tactical bonus. And I guess I can look at uh, various items, should I choose. I don't really care. Or various screenshots. don't really care too much about that. Well, there you go. There's uh, a little look at Upper Erebus and how it performs on my computer. It's pretty similar um, to when I had the Core i5, honestly. Like, there were definitely still some hitches here and there. But uh, as I had said in the, the Saurians Challenge video, the game performs much better. Uh, nowadays, now that the game is released, and I imagine they'll be making more adjustments and all that good stuff as well. 
Anyway, I suppose the next time uh, we talk about Underworld Ascendant here, uh, we will be hopefully starting up a playthrough. Uh, and hopefully that will be in the not too distant future. Events grow dire. <laughs> there is more you must do.